in 2023 and beyond location 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 is it still the most important factor when making a decision on property purchase hey welcome back to my video today we are going to dive deep into this slogan location 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 and to determine whether is it still viable in today's market we are going to look at some developments in good location good district and compare it against the supposedly not so good district or location first off uh, Swiss at Orchard, a 118 units uh, development at Handy Road in District 9, very close walking distance to Dobby Court MRT, that was TOP in 2014. It is in a very prime location. After all, who can boast of walking distance to Plaza Singapura, except for the residents staying around the area. But however, when we look at the records, we can only see that there is only 8 profitable transactions and 6 unprofitable transactions. And why is that so? We can see from this development that it is mainly made up of one, one plus study and two, and a handful of two plus studies and penthouses. Thus, it does not really encourage family building as the units are smaller and not ideal for families to come in and most of the residents are actually tenants. With so many investment type new launches that's available on the market right now, buyers do not need to focus just on Swiss and Orchard as their investment choice, but however, the Rental demand is still pretty strong and healthy. Next, we take a look at another example. Marina Bay Suites, TOP in 2013, which is located at Central Boulevard with doorstep access to downtown MRT and walking distance to Marina Bay Sands. Now, who can boast of walking distance to Marina Bay Sands except for the residents staying around the area? When we look at the record, we can see that there's only 10 profitable transactions and 29 unprofitable transactions. This development is made out of only 3, 4, 4 plus study and penthouses. All are tiered towards family building. But why is it still not making a profit? After analyzing, it is due to the buy-in price and time of selling the market. Plus, it's in the CBD area, far away from neighborhoods and elite school. And besides, locals prefer to stay away from CBT area. Hence, its only target audience will then be the foreign buyers. But the pie of foreign buyers shrink even further as they tend to prefer developer units as it presents to them a peace of mind when buying a foreign property, even though they will be paying more for a property developer unit. Now, let us look at some positive examples. Park Rivera. In District 5, located in West Coast Field, TOP in 2019, this is a 752 units development comprising of one to four bedroom with full condominium facilities. So far, there has been nine, 199 profitable transactions with zero unprofitable transactions. The next project beside them will be Twin View, TOP in 2021, a similar size development with uh, 520 units which comprises of one to four bedroom got 63 profitable transaction and zero unprofitable transaction and the newest of them all whistler grand top in just late 2022 comprising of 716 units of one to five bedroom had 54 profitable transaction and zero unprofitable transaction this location of the three condos are not near mrt at all and so why are they still then outperforming the prime location the answer is that the buy-in price matters. It is targeted at HDB upgraders. Hence, the pricing has to be sensitive in order for upgraders to buy in. Second will be the development size. These are full condominium facilities with arrays of one to five bedrooms. Hence, buyer can do family building in these developments. Investors also can come in for rental gains. Thirdly will be the ecosystem and school. Most probably than not, their parents, relatives, siblings are staying within the same area, hence providing them family ecosystem with good neighborhood school nearby, making it an even more ideal location for them to live, work, and play. And the next will be the future buyer profile. There will be always new local upgraders looking around the surrounding area who are buying it for their own stay. And this will definitely be one of their top choices based on the above selling points. In summary, in 2023, location doesn't mean everything. It also dependable on development size, type, your neighborhood, and your future buyer profile, and of course, your buying price. If you do wish to discuss on how to select a profitable property, do drop me a WhatsApp or fill out my Google form in the description box below. 
we can discuss further on your property goals over coffee. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.